Welcome back, I'm back, you're back, hey, we back. Welcome everyone to this episode on the Ultimate Sports TV. Guys, the first two weeks of the 2021 NFL season did not disappoint at all. We saw a great week one and a very entertaining week two, everyone. Now that week two is over and Thursday night is just a day away, you know over here at the Ultimate Sports TV, we got to get into my week three NFL game predictions for week three, everyone. Before I hop into these and give you my week three NFL game predictions, want to make sure you subscribe to the Ultimate Sports TV. Do yourself a favor because this is the hot spot for NFL and NBA content, everyone, mainly NFL content. Want to make sure you like this video for me, share this video and YouTube channel. Then comment down below your game prediction for your favorite NFL team in week three down in the comment section below, everyone. But now let's get started with these week three NFL game predictions of mine. First, we're going to start off with the Thursday night game, the Panthers and the Texans. I'm going to take the Panthers in this one. Look, Tyrod Taylor just went on IR for the Texans. And although Brandon Cooks is just doing amazing on offense right now, what really made that offense go in the first two weeks is you saw them have some success with Tyrod Taylor, it was Tyrod Taylor who was really the engine of that offense. So now that Davis Mills is a starting quarterback and you did see him struggle versus a Browns defense that's still trying to gel with all their new pieces, Davis Mills didn't really impress me in that game. So I'm worried about how the uh, Texans offense can't really move the ball in this game, including really score points against the Panthers defense that really held the Saints and the Jets. Granted, it is the Jets, but their defense is holding these offenses to really minimal points. So I think the Panthers are good at getting pressure on an offensive line in the Texans that's really not the best. And I think their offense with Sam Darnold, DJ Moore, Christian McCaffrey, Robbie Anderson, all the guys they have on that offense, including Terrence Marshall. Look, I just think that offense uh, really trumps the Texans offense. And I think their offense will be able to make more plays in the Carolina Panthers offense. So I think in this game, they just win the battle in offensively and defensively. I'll take the Panthers on Thursday night football versus the Texans. I think it could be a relatively close game just because I think so far the Texans have proved that their pass rush can come through at times. They even sacked Baker Mayfield two times in the game versus the Browns. So I do think versus a Panthers offensive line that's not the best in the league, I do think they can make some plays in the pass rush game. But overall, this is the Panthers game. I'll take them on Thursday night football. Uh, Ravens versus Lions. I'm going to take the Ravens here. The Lions have not been great against pass coverage. So I think this is an opportunity for the Ravens to really take advantage of that. You saw last week that Lamar Jackson, although he threw three interceptions, and that was against Steve Spagnuolo, who was just really great as a defensive coordinator, you're not going up against that next week. So I do think the Ravens will be able to make some plays in the pass game. And really, run game, they'll do great there too, especially with Lamar Jackson and the plethora of running backs that they do have. If, as you really just saw Aaron Jones in the run game and pass game, just take advantage of the Lions defense. And really, the Lions offense, it just it's not consistent enough in the pass game. They can make some plays in the run game, and I think that's where they'll be able to rival Baltimore in this game just because they're good at it, but also... Baltimore's run defense isn't the best so I think run games for both teams will be factors and I think the Lions are set up to have a good game in terms of run offense but really this is the Ravens game to win right here I think their pass game and run game will come into play and I think their pass defense will fare well versus the Lions passing offense that really just is not dazzling to any eye these days so I'm gonna take the Ravens in this one um, the Bengals versus the Steelers. Now, this one is a hard one. You have Ben Roethlisberger, who's dealing with an injury, but you also have Joe Burrow, who in faced really good pass rush last week versus the Bears, really frazzled, and he threw three straight interceptions in the fourth quarter. So that really doesn't look good. But also, when you look at this Steelers team, their offense hasn't been on so far, and I really like what the Bengals secondary has looked like. This game was actually harder to determine for me than I thought it would have been last year, the previous years. I am going to take this. This game was just really hard to predict. I'm going to take the Bengals in this one. Now, I think the pass rush for the Steelers is really, really, really scary right now. But look, I just don't 
think the Steelers offense is going to be equivalent. I think they're I don't think they're gonna equivalent to what the Bengals offense will be able to do in this game. Now look, there will be pressure in this game on the side for the Bengals, but there also will be pressure from that defensive line for the Bengals when they're going to the Steelers and attacking their really just weak offensive line when you have a Ben Roethlisberger who is injured right now and really is really just weak and throwing the ball right now. So I think both teams could take advantage of pressure in this game. But when I look at it, I think when it comes to secondaries and who can stop the other team's passing game, I'll take the Bengals in that one. And when I look at whose team's passing offense can really take advantage the most, I think that's the Bengals passing game just because they're not hindered by injuries right now by their quarterback and Deontay Johnson on the Steelers side. So I'm going to take the Bengals in this one. I, I think this could be a battle of whose passing game is better. And I think that'll really show that the Bengals passing game is better. And really just because the Steelers are injured in this one, they are kind of limping into this game. Titans versus Colts. I'm going to take the Titans in this one. Carson Wentz, if he plays or not, he has two sprained feet, people. That's not easy to play with as a quarterback and Carson Wentz who really wants to move around and really an offensive line that's kind of struggling right now. I think this could come down to which passing offense can make the most plays really because the Colts passing offense hasn't looked the best and the Titans passing offense hasn't looked the best. And it could also come down to who could ball control better. And really, when I look at it, I think it could really give that to the Titans. And also, I'll give the passing offense side to the Titans. I think the Titans are going to win this game. No matter who's at quarterback for the Colts, I just think they're going to have a hard time keeping up with the Titans offense. So I'll take the Titans over the Colts. And unfortunately for the Colts, I think they'll start 0-3 in this season. Um, Raiders versus Dolphins. Now, look, Tua is going to be out for three weeks. So they already didn't have much success in the passing game and being able to move downfield when you're talking about the Dolphins offense. And now when you don't have Tua in as quarterback, it's not going to get much better versus a Raiders passing attack and a pass defense that have really looked good these first two weeks of the season. And with the Raiders offensive line, you really want to take advantage of. I don't know if the Dolphins have the pass rush to do that. I think this is a game where the Raiders offense is just going to show out again, but also a game where I think the Raiders pass rush could take advantage of Jacoby Brissett, uh, Brissett and really that Dolphins offensive line. So I'll take the Raiders in this one. I think their offense and defense will outplay the Dolphins. And with the quarterback situation, I just don't think the Dolphins are in a great position to move the ball down the field to really try and rival what the Raiders have in their passing game right now. I'll take the Raiders over the Dolphins in week three here. I'll take the Broncos over the Jets. Their pass rush is just going to mess with Zach Wilson as a lot of other teams pass rushes have. You, you saw the Panthers pass rush do that to Zach Wilson, ended up throwing interceptions. And in last game, Zach Wilson threw three or four interceptions versus a pass rush in the Patriots that looked pretty efficient versus them. So look, when you're going versus a Broncos pass rush that features Von Miller and a lot of other playmakers, a really a pass rush that's been really good this year. I think that's going to be tough for a rookie quarterback that's already struggling versus it in Zach Wilson. And look, that offense for the Broncos, I think it'll keep rolling versus the Jets de defense that hasn't looked all that great. I'll take the Broncos over the Jets in this one. I'll take the Chiefs over the Chargers. I didn't I kind of like what I saw from the Chargers pass defense the past two weeks, but the rush really when I'm looking at both of these teams. Their defense have defenses have looked kind of inconsistent. Teams have been able to move the ball down the field on them. But really when I look at it, I think I think the Chiefs will be able to make more plays to win this game in the run game and in the pass game. Look, this is a team in the Chiefs that's not going to get set back by a tough loss versus the Ravens. I think they're going to play pissed off in this one. And I think they're going to win versus the Chargers in this one. Browns versus Bears. I'm going to take the Browns in this one. Now, look, I think the Bears pass rush poses a good task for the Browns offensive line. But really, you're playing the Browns offensive line. I think they're going to do well in this one. I think the running game. Could they have some issues versus a Chicago Bears run game that has looked good? Now, look. 
it's a, they're running behind an offensive line that looks pretty good, so I'm not too worried about it. I think Odell Beckham Jr., he'll be back in this game. And the Bears passing defense hasn't looked all that great the first two weeks. So I think the Browns, although they did get three interceptions last week versus Joe Burrow, I think that was because their really pass rush was able to disrupt them. I think the Browns offense will be able to make more plays versus the Chicago Bears offense that really just looks out of whack with their offensive line. And Justin Fields is the starter, so I think the Browns will really be able to kind of confuse them in this game. Now, their defense will need to get better in this one, but I do like the challenge they pose versus Justin Fields. I think the Browns offense will be able to make more plays in this one, and I think their offense is just more ready than the Bears offense in this one. I'll take the Browns over the Bears. Uh, Falcons versus Giants. I'll take the Giants in this one. I think their defense definitely does need work. Their passing game did allow a lot to Taylor Heineke. But look, I think their passing offense versus this Falcons uh, passing defense is really going to be good. And I think really, I think the Giants offense could take advantage of everything on this Falcons defense. While I think the Giants pass rush could look really good versus a Falcons offensive line that doesn't look the best. The Falcons are still trying to figure things out right here with Arthur Smith. And I think the Giants are going to really it's going to be a close game, but I think the Giants win this one, mainly because I think the battle in the trenches will be won by them, but also they'll be able to make plays in the pass game. And I think they'll be able to do that more versus the Falcons, mainly because the Falcons pass defense, I think, is more vulnerable than the Giants pass defense. I'll take the Giants over the Falcons in this one. Now, to me, I think this will be a game, the game of the week right here. Bucks versus Rams. I'm going to take the underdog in this one. I'm going to take the Rams right here. When I really looked at this and I looked at the stats, now look. The Buccaneers' pass defense has not been great. They allowed a good passing game from Matt Ryan, although he did have some interceptions in that game. I think they were able to move the ball down the field good versus uh, the Bucs' pass defense. When you look at Dak Prescott, he was able to do really, really well versus this Bucs' pass defense. And when you have Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, you have Robert Woods, Tyler Higby, everyone in this Rams offense really just firing with this passing offense, that's a really, really big challenge for this Buccaneers pass defense. This is probably the biggest challenge they face yet in terms of passing offense versus their passing defense in the Buccaneers. So look, I think the Rams are going to win this game, mainly because I think they can just make more plays in the Buccaneers that really tilt this game. When I look at it, both of these teams can make plays in the pass game. We know that the Bucs and Rams can do that. But when we look at the defenses, I think the Rams defense can make more plays versus a great offense in the Bucks offense than the Bucks defense can make versus the Rams offense. So I think the Rams will make more game changing plays in this one just because I think their defense can get more stops. And when it comes to the Bucks pass defense, I think Matthew Stafford and the Rams passing game is really going to take advantage of that. And the run game could come into play a little bit, but I think they'll be able to force more mistakes by this Bucks offense than the Bucks defense can do to the Rams offense. I'll take the Rams over the Bucks in this one. Um, Cardinals versus Jags. This is an easy one. The Jags just look dysfunctional right now. I'll take the Cardinals over them. Kyler Murray. DeAndre Hopkins in this pass game is just going to have a field day and this offense for the Jags is not going to be able to keep up with it mainly because they just look unorganized right now. I'll take the Cardinals over the Jaguars. Seahawks versus the Vikings here. Now look, I don't think the Seahawks look great at all. No one should think they look great at all versus the run defense versus Derrick Henry last week. It's not getting any easier versus Dalvin Cook this week. So I think the Vikings will be able to control the ball, but also will the Seahawks be able to control the ball versus the Vikings? I think the Vikings have done a pretty good job stopping the run this year, but when it comes to that passing game, they definitely do need work. So look, I think when it comes down to it, I'll take the Vikings in the... You know what? I'm going to have to think about that. I just think with their back against the wall, I think the Vikings will take this one. I think their run offense will be able to keep the Seahawks offense off the field. And I think their pass rush and the run defense will be able to make enough plays versus the Seahawks in this one. And look, I also think their pass game will do well in this one. I think this is a game where the Vikings could do more on offense than the Seahawks can. The Seahawks don't look great in pass coverage right now and they don't look great 
and really rush defense right now as they had an atrocious week versus Derrick Henry last week. And that ultimately won them the game because they were so worried about him. But their offense, but their pass offense was able to get going in the Titans. And I think that'll be the same story for the Vikings this week. I'll take them over the Seahawks. And the Seahawks are going to have to go back to the drawing board after this week. Now, Packers versus 49ers. We're going to come back to that one. Saints versus um. Uh, Patriots. I'm going to take the Patriots in this one. I like the Patriots secondary versus receivers in the Saints offense that really haven't been able to make plays downfield, and that's not helping Jameis Winston too much. This has been a Patriots defense that's been pretty nice versus the run defense. They're in the top of the league, top half of the league in run defense and pass defense. I think that poses a great challenge for the Saints, and the Saints pass defense hasn't really been the best, so I think it's not going to be an atrocious game for them, but I do think Mac Jones will be able to take advantage of some things in this one. I think the Patriots offense will be able to make more plays in this one, mainly because I think their secondary will do, do a good job versus a Saints passing game that just really hasn't been able to get a huge spark in week two. And I think that'll continue versus a good pass defense in the Patriots. But I also do think Mac Jones will be able to take advantage of really some kinks in the Saints pass pass defense which was shown last week versus the Panthers I'll take the uh Patriots over the Saints in week three now this one was a hard game to pick right here Washington football team versus the Bills I'll take the Washington football team in this one Taylor Heineke I think is gonna be able to make some plays over this Bills uh defense overall and I think they're gonna be able to run the ball versus the Bills and I think when you can do that knowing Josh Allen is on the other side but also knowing your defense is going versus Josh Allen this pass rush is gonna get after him and we saw that in week one when the Steelers pass rush got after Josh Allen it did not end well and it really led to Josh Allen making mistakes and I think the Washington football team's pass rush is gonna be able to do that now their pass defense Hasn't looked like one of the best in the league, but it's not atrocious. I think their defense is going to be able to make plays in this game to disrupt the Bills offense. And I think that Washington football's offense is going to be able to play complimentary football alongside that defense. So I'll take the Washington football team over the Bills in this one. And I think the Bills are going to start off the season one and two, and they'll have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, Packers versus 49ers. I think this is the a uh, game where the Packers really just start to pick everything up. The run game looked good last week versus the Lions. It's solely their pass game. Now look, the run, the run game could not it won't look as good as it did last week just because you're playing the 49ers and you're not playing the Lions, but I do think their pass game will look good in this one. I think this is going to be a very close game just because I like how the San Francisco 49ers can ball control over this Packers run defense and really their um offense to keep them off the field but i think the packers because they'll be able to make more plays in the run game and in the pass game and in pass defense i think they'll win this game versus the 49ers now monday night football cowboys versus eagles this was also a tough game to pick for me just because i like how both teams are playing right now when I look at it, I think the Eagles defense has played pretty well. I think they played pretty well versus the run and the pass. And the Cowboys are still having some trouble in pass defense, but they did look good last week versus Justin Herbert. And we already know that that Cowboys offense is going to come out firing. Now, look, will Amari Cooper play in this game? We know that Zach Martin is back and he's going to help in that run game for Ezekiel Elliott. And look, this Eagles run defense has looked pretty good. I think I'm going to take the yeah. see I think because the Cowboys offensive star power will be able to really take place in this game I think they'll win this game and I think they're a good team at getting turnovers and I think they'll be able to do that versus the Eagles in this game the passing attack versus the Eagles I think it's going to be able to rival them well and I think the passing attack will flourish in this game I think the Cowboys have a good game in this one I think they'll win versus the Eagles on Monday night football everyone these are my week three NFL game predictions everyone give yours down in the comment section below other than that this has been Malik Hicks aka the ranker of the ultimate sports TV signing off peace out and I'll see you on the other side